Hello, everyone. Hi, Mike. This is WTNT's favorite lefty. What? Mike O'Mara. Yes. <laughs> I thought I thought Andy Parks was liberal. He called me a lefty. Did he? <laughs> I love being called a lefty. Now, was he Andy referring Parks. to the way you write? You, the way you write, you write left-handed. Uh yes, yes, it's true. So you, you are, are literally a lefty. My glass eye is my left eye. <laughs> right, right. And your I, wooden leg. And I walk <laughs> with kind of a lilt to the left mm-hmm. when I'm walking down the street. You now, literally lean left. I, yes, te- yeah. I was teasing about the wooden leg, but which knee has the corpse tissue in it? The right knee. Oh, mm-hmm. but so, but that's so you why. favor the left. Mm-hmm. And and thanks for calling it corpse tissue. Well, that's exactly what it is. That's so nice. It's exactly have, what it is. Uh, you know, but they use another one. It's it's a cadaver ligament. That's right. Oh, that's that has a I nice have. ring to yes, it. Yes, it does. <laughs> Can we move on? You're dead, uh, can we? It's, it's Thursday, and we all know what that means. Does that leg fall asleep a lot? It's time <laughs> to open up the mailbag, Rob. <laughs> oh, let's do that. Jesus. <laughs> Help me. It's birthday Thursday, Yay. everybody. Oh, who uh, doesn't love it? It was Heather Posey's birthday last Friday. That's important to Pony Boy Matt. He's our computer guy. Oh, nice guy. Uh, who considers Heather... And her fiance to be his best friends. I bet Pony so, Boy doesn't eat any cake. So Matt Pony Boy is asking for our traditional birthday song for Heather. Now they might call him Pony Boy on the Big O and Duke show, right? But on the Mike O'Mara show, whenever I'm talking about Matt, yes. I say one thing: What? what? My lips hurt real bad. <laughs> Napoleon? Uh, Are we calling him Napoleon then? Let's. Uh, yeah. Well, Napoleon might be uh, my name for him. <laughs> I like so that. Napoleon was in here, and uh, you, you know what's great about Napoleon when he comes in here? Uh-huh. Napoleon does not I- in any way get in the way. No. He well, he does can't. his work. He's the size of a twist tie. Yeah, he's his waist size and quiet as a his, mouse. His waist size is the size of one of my index fingers. That's right. I'm not sure. I think it's the left one. The size of a uh, cadaver. Of so this is for <laughs> lefty. This is for Heather. Now, now, Matt Pony Boy uh, Napoleon. Let me ask you, what yeah. is your, you know, what is your relationship with? I that? wondered that same thing. I know. Are you? Um, Oh, good. No, oh. it has nothing to do with that. Are you Appingte at Thing Ingte? No, uh, Heather and her, I guess it's her boyfriend or husband, I'm not sure. He used to live above them. And, oh, oh, so, he was oh, so on, Heather is a couple. Yes. Oh, Heather he, and her fiance. Yes. Yeah, okay, he spent yes. some time on top. And he used see, to, I didn't pay attention to he it. He used to live above them, and he found out they loved the show because he heard them laughing listening to the Michael Mara show. Oh, that's that's a good story. wonderful. That's Love a great that. story. What is that? You know what? The next time, when's the next time Pony Boy is going to be in the studio? Uh, Matt should be in here next week, I think. Next Next week, yes. perhaps then we put him under the spotlight. We have two new additions to the family here we have uh, that have been helping yet. us. Pony Boy mm-hmm. uh, Napoleon. That's it. That's the there's Napoleon. the Pony Boy Napoleon and uh, and and <laughs> Josh and Bald Josh. That's uh-huh. right. So Bald Josh and Pony Boy Napoleon have to come in here. And when I say yes. Bald Josh, he's a young man. He's in good shape. He's got a shaved head though. Yes. Yeah. So uh, we haven't really scrutinized Josh, and we'll have to yeah, bring to him probed. in. There. But he's so, been out to appearances, and the, and the audience loves him. But you know, we're lingering on this one birthday, and <laughs> I don't are. choose to. Anymore. Let's move on. Heather, uh, the birthday song for you. One, two, three. Napoleon. Heather. In Bakersfield, California, Friday was also Natalie Stevens' 34th birthday. She and her husband ditched the kids and drove over seven hours, seven hours, to meet us in Reno. Wow. I I used to have a car like that. I hope they'll drive to Iowa. It was snowing. Anyway, seven hours to meet us in Reno. Natalie wonders if baby O'Mara has (laughs) has thoughts about his or her dad. (laughs) We have not yet heard from baby O'Mara. No, we haven't. Or as I like to call it, B.O. And we don't know yet. Boy or girl, we don't know. No, it could be either one. I but can't... it would be interesting to know. Yes. Well, Baby O'Mara. Well, well that... uh, you know, let's let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can summon Baby O'Mara. Yeah. Forming oh, baby. baby. Oh, baby. What he thinks about, or he, she thinks about. Live from the womb. How are you doing? What? Wow. How you doing? Hi, Baby hey. O'Mara. I'm drunk. Already? Oh, wow. That's not. <laughs> I don't want to do this bit. It's making me uncomfortable. No, I thought it might. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Turn that crap off. That's, that's that right. made me so uncomfortable. Baby, oh no, I can't do it. Drunk with love. I can't do my own baby. If I can't find, do it. If, oh, no. Don't isolate that. If we can uh, find another angle for the bit, would you be more comfortable? Well, why don't that? you just think of other things? Put that thing, that comparison of Jerry Springer and Jerry Lewis together that I asked for you. Yes. Remember? Yes. Remember, you don't want to do that, do you? It's going to make Jerry look bad. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it is? <laughs> yes. Because you usually love projects like that. I don't want Jerry to look bad. Oh, He's come had a on bad now. Year. Please do that for okay, me. Okay, you got it. You know I'm... Where was the Jerry... Was it the Jerry Springer in an interview or something like that? Yeah. 
Can you do that? Yes. Thank but you, you know course. about the curse. If he does anything about Jerry, Jerry will pass. That's right. right. Happy Unless birthday, it, it's Natalie. It's probably too late now. Just Eric, by mentioning him. Eric Irway of Austin, Texas, had a birthday Monday. He never misses a show. He shops our Amazon page, and he only asks that we keep up the great work and says congrats on our return to radio. Well, thank you, Eric, and happy birthday. Is his last name in Pig Latin? Irway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like were. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yesterday was Mark Caston's uh, birthday. Uh, his brother-in-law promises to uh, never throw... Is Caston's the uh, the band director? The uh... No, that's Kevin Caston. Kevin Caston. Yeah. Uh, his brother-in-law is, promises to never throw our cartoon t-shirts in with his stained underwear. Yeah. If Rob runs out to get Mark a carton of Salem's and a 12-pack of Coors Light. Yeah, I, I, it's lucky I have my ID. I'll be right back. Thank you. Mark, I didn't know that you... Uh... No, I don't enjoy the Salem's. Oh, so it's that's Mark Caston. Yeah, yeah, that's for Mark Caston. Uh, it's different Mark. cigarettes. Don't make references to other people we don't know. That's yeah, right. right. <laughs> don't get too... You know what? Don't get too friendly in the mailbag. And don't have names we have. Yeah, don't get too familiar. How dare you. Daniel Funky Cold Medina celebrated his 28th birthday yesterday. He also met us in Reno and says that, plus hanging out with us at the bar... Was uh, the most fun he and his brothers ever had. Daniel, uh, says, I wonder if they're the guys that they if were, they're the brothers. They were the great. same guys. Yes. They were so Have much fun. They were fun. Daniel says the next round is on him. Those Very guys good. cracked me <laughs> up. God, I've never spent that much time with a great. Well, they horse. had fun too. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Nick Chaya enters his douchebag thirties today. He'd like a boss greeting from Buzz's impression of Rob. <laughs> wow, have we ever done this? Yeah, I think we have. Yeah, have, so like I guess it, you yeah. got to tell him to have a boss birthday, Rob. Have, have a have a boss birthday. <laughs> wow. That was, that was chilling. Like that. <laughs> also, celebrating today, great. John Kelly is 42. John he's, Kelly. He's been with us since the 80s, and he's very excited about our return to radio, which he believes will lead to world domination. I doubt that, but thank you for that anyway. <laughs> Ever closer. Tomorrow's a birthday for Nick Runnels. Hey, the Runnels are coming over with uh, with Chuck and Barb. Uh, Moody. 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 I That's hope the right. Moody's bring that dip I like so bad. <laughs> the Moody's and the Runnels. Tomorrow's a birthday for Nick Runnels, pronounced asshat, according to his brother-in-law. <laughs> Mike met Nick recently in Denver. I guess he came out to the meet and greet in Denver uh-huh. that I did at Sturgis. Yep. Jason Griffenhagen. Stuyen, Stuyen, Flagen. G-R-I-F-F-E-N-H-A-G-E-N. Griffenhagen. Griffenhagen. Okay. Definitely a mix-up. That was definitely a mix-up at Ellis Island right there. Jason Griffin Mergen. <laughs> Stern and Hagen. Manti Griffinhagen yes. says he's a man of science like Buzz. He, and incidentally, if I see one more interview with that guy, I'm like, I'm going to die. Oh, Manti? Oh, oh Manti. Yeah, yeah, we all are. Yeah. God, drama douche. You know, and, and everything's not, like this. Everything's like, oh, I was so sad. Oh, well, that's what they, the handlers took a few days and so. taught him how to do it. Uh, Jason Griffin, no, he's been doing it forever. Yeah. Jason Griffinhagen says he's a man of science like Buzz. He says Rob will know him as a long, long, long time listener since uh, Jason was in the fifth grade. He's 36 tomorrow and would love a greeting from Uncle Cartoon. Oh, do you want to do that? <laughs> Griffinhagen? <laughs> what? Well, you're in the German army? <laughs> uh, anyway, we met the lovely J. Mills Smith at the State Theater. <laughs> There's Uncle Cartoon. She turns 50 on Saturday and would like a sexy birthday greeting from Buzz. J. Mills Smith, I'd like to punctuate your hyphen. Oh, Jesus. Happy Whoa. birthday. Neil Cassidy You turns... know we're on the radio, right? I'm sorry, what? That's right. Neil Cassidy turns 34 on Saturday. Uh, he says the show's gotten him through some tough times recently, and he wants to have sex with Rob's wit. Wow. It's a little nerdy. Yeah. I want to warn him, it's a very dry wit. Bet he's, uh, I bet he's a mob. I bet he's a mob you know, guy. You know we're on the radio. It's very right. strange. Uh, California's Angela Hummer. Hey! Some are too easy, aren't they? Yeah, they loved are. robbing Rub's, uh, Rob's clean-shaven head in Reno, mm-hmm. but she says it was an honor to meet us all, even Zoolander. Angela's turning 27 again on Monday. She'd also like a sexy greeting from Buzz. A- Angela, there's a way to turn that last name around. It can't just be for men. Oh, okay. Right. There we go. He wrote. He w- wrote those. Women, women can have them too. Thank you. And tomorrow, Michael Jackson is marrying his fiance, Princess. Really? Is that her? Is that really? Yeah. That's. I checked it out. This is. These are real people. Yeah. Michael uh, Jackson. Yes. Yeah. I've seen this guy uh-huh. post on our fan page yeah. before. Regular We'd like guy. Oscar to give advice on how to keep the marriages strong, how to keep the marriage strong, and to talk about what a wife's role should be. How about that? Mm. Pay your taxes once a week. (laughs) And by taxes, you know what I mean. We know what you mean. Absolutely. And keep her tight. (laughs) 
Oh, wow. <laughs> does he know we're on the radio? That's right. Does anybody know? That's Oscar's new favorite slogan. I'm keeping it tight. Keep it tight. Oh, no. She's got to, uh, you know. Yeah. Don't go any further. Not gain too many LBs. No. Easy. Thank you. Uh, our letter of the week comes from Colin Higgins. Thank you for making this past holiday season that much brighter. Not only did I do all my online shopping through uh, the Mike O'Mara Show Amazon page, Yay. but I also bought my dad a set of man grades. That's nice. good, right? What makes this even better, when the man grade package was open Christmas morning, inside was an Adam Carr. Roll a grill for us. <laughs> what? I'll talk to shipping. <laughs> hey, ho! <laughs> well, not the, very, not very the infamous well. multi purpose TMOS brush. Right. I made one quick phone call the very next day to the man grade factory uh-huh. offering to send the defective. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the thing about the Corolla brush, it's actually made with Corolla's hair. Yeah. <laughs> As to send the defective brush back for the correct model, our listeners are funny. The bad brain. But was told that wouldn't be a problem and received the... Gr- <laughs> this is making me laugh. <laughs> and received the greatest grill brush ever. Yeah. Three days later, hit no extra charge. Thank you, Oscar. That's you terrific. Are. My other purpose for writing this letter is I also received as gifts your two road trip DVDs. DVDs from my parents. Uh-huh. I love these DVDs and I've already watched them countless times, but apparently, through some fluke, my folks received an extra cro- copy of the Road hey. Trip 2012 Reno DVD they did not pay for. Don't worry, the whole thing's a mess. Yeah, it's, it's not. a total mess. I bet that's Brian's yeah, I mean, I, I don't I've think been, it is. I've been reading complaint calls all morning. I bet Mark is feeling faint at having <laughs> merchandise being given away, so I decided to reach out to the crew for advice. I wouldn't want to deprive anyone else from the laughter and joy these DVDs have brought me, nor would I feel right about taking money out of your pocket. Whatever would you want me to do? What an honest, funny <laughs> yeah, man. Yes. I had the privilege to meet and shake Mike and Oscar's hands in Boston, and I look forward to the chance again soon, hopefully in Florida. Thank you again, TMS, t- TMOS crew, for everything. That's Colin Higgins. P.S. Rob, yes. I'm disappointed. All this talk of your fad, Facebook addiction disorder, and I didn't get a cut and paste greeting this year. But you can make it up to me by having my uh, cat 2013 in uh, Fort Myers this year. Well, it's it's all about Colin, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, no. I had one letter from a guy that said he didn't get his DVD. Have we rectified that situation? Yes, we already have. Did he get back to you, or have you? Just he has gotten not. But I've been uh, I've been diligent about it, and I think he'll be fine to, as of today. Okay, he had a trouble with his email, but uh, that's it. I'm not going to dwell on it anymore. No. So yeah. start the effing show. Yeah. It's the Michael Mara Show. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at www.mikeomarashow.com. Stay tuned for an outstanding entertainment program. It's The <laughs> Mike O'Mara Show. Let's get down to business. From the entertainment capital of the world. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you are looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I've acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. If you let my daughter go now, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Good luck. It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Mike O'Mara. Buzz Burbank. Rob Spiewak. Oscar Santana. And now, from his couch, here's Mike. We are live from the Cappy Pfeiffer Studios, and I've got a whole spiel that I normally read, but when this song plays, uh-huh. Rob and I have to do this. You don't know me, but I'm your brother. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's very nice. We are live from the Cappy Pfeiffer Studios. This is the Mike O'Mara Show, downloaded worldwide 17 million times Whoa. and powered by Encore insurance. We're at MichaelMarishow.com 102.9 FM WTNT in Washington, D.C. and the mighty 1630 KCJJ in Iowa. Today is Thursday, Jan 24, 2013 and uh, we are very, very excited to make an announcement on today's show because we've alluded to it. You all know it's going to happen if you're regulars to this program, but it is the fourth annual TMOS Big Game Party at Jimmy's Old Town Tavern in Herndon, Virginia. Woot. That's Woot. Sunday, February 3rd at Jimmy's. I think I'll do my facenda for this. Oh, yes, excellent. Please. I love this. He'll be serving up DC's best wings all day for just five bucks, even for takeout. 
takeout. Oh, that's the best. You don't want to take anything out. You want to join us. Yeah, you want to bring in. Please call ahead for big orders. It's also a big hockey day at Jimmy's. Now, the guys, all of you, are going to be getting there at about 4 o'clock. Right? Right. That's when our meet and greet starts. Mm-hmm. Then we uh, hang out for a couple hours before the big game. Right. I, however, and I have already been warned by my lovely bride mm-hmm. to <laughs> pace, pace myself. Yourself. Yeah, I think that's yes. a good idea. Because I'm going to Jimmy's uh, for the hockey games. And sure. the Caps game against Pittsburgh is at 1230. Noon 30. Mm-hmm. Right. So Super Bowl Sunday for me is going to be two mm-hmm. hockey games before you guys even get there. So, so it's going to be two shows within one. <laughs> Three, actually. I'm going to yeah. pace myself. Yeah. I'm going to be very good. I'm going to be very well behaved. When I have that in my head, mm-hmm. when that's the warning, I know that at Jimmy's I will be behaving myself. Will you be yeah. mostly sticking to golden beverages? Yes. Good. 100,000%. Remember, Mike, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Now, the Caps and the Penguins are on the big screen at 1230. The Sabres against the Panthers at 3. Sabres! Eh. Who cares? Hey, hey Jimmy, hey, that's hey, for you. Hey. That's for you, Jimmy. I think they're great. Uh, then at four, the whole Michael Mara Show gang <laughs> arrives arrives in limos yes. and red carpets. That's right. Who are you wearing? And uh, Who will be say. covering the arrivals, Mike? So the whole gang will be there. Uh, let's do this for my friend Jimmy, okay? Yes. Yeah. What, what, what I would really like to do, because Jimmy had a rough summer. He had a he rough summer with staffing problems and all of that. Good guy. It's still the great bar that it's always been. But right. the fact Mike. is... I would like to bless Jimmy with the largest Super Bowl crowd that we've ever had. And you know, if you show so up... I'd like you really to stuff the place. Help a brother. And out. when you show up, Jimmy will give you a great greeting. Hello, you big thinkers, you. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, the whole gang will be there starting about 4 o'clock for an evening of high-def football, big game commercials, and wacky hijinks. Uh-huh. Yes. There's a charity football pool and fun for non-football fans, uh, including... Uh, Rob, uh, Rob and I are probably going to work on old Queen trivia. Yeah, so bring your tiara. Uh, that's for the non-football people. Though. Right, exactly. So if you're somebody that you have to watch the big game, uh-huh. but you're not totally into football, this is going to be a lot of diversion still yes. be fun. besides football. Yeah, okay? it's going to be awesome. This is not, and uh, yeah, this is for the Baltimore fans, come one, come all. Mm-hmm. And uh, for you San Francisco 49ers fans, they're very much like uh, the Red Sox and the Dallas Cowboys. There are Niners fans everywhere. Yes. We welcome everybody, and I don't particularly have a dog in the fight. Ah. So I'll look forward to it now. Go Ravens. Uh, it'll be interesting. Uh, Bullwinkle says big brains <laughs> should reserve their tables now. <laughs> hey! Here's the phone number. you got to make this reservation. Tables will fill up rapidly. Be probably smart. by the time you're hearing this, people are already starting. 703-435-JIMS. That's 703-435-5467. Or write Jimmy at Jimmy's Tavern.com. That's the Michael Mara Show. We've talked about it, the fact that we're going to have our giant potty. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're really excited about that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Super Bowl Sunday at at Jimmy's, I am going to be there all day. Yeah. I will be there all day long, and I will be pacing myself because I know we have to kind of be on starting at 4 o'clock. A message to the listener. If you have something that you really want to discuss with Mike, uh-huh. get to him in the first quarter. Jimmy's Old of Town the- Tavern <laughs> or by is... Two. Or the first period of the hockey well, Maybe, game. yeah. If you don't know by now, it's located in Herndon, Virginia. So what's really great, if you want to fly into town for our Super Bowl party, right. it's really close to Dulles Airport. It really Convenient. is. So you could fly in, you know, go to the party, get up the next morning and fly out. Right. And uh, if you do fly in for this party, uh, we'll give you special recognition. Is Herndon <laughs> Regional oh. Airport still open? Herndon Reg- I believe that's closed, Rob. I'm sorry to hear that. They had a terrible crop dusting accident. <laughs> it was a great airport. A while back, but that's not there. So join us for the, the big party at uh, my friend Jimmy's. And yeah. really, I want, I want Jimmy... My goal is to have Jimmy with tears in his eyes Feel because yeah. because he's got so many people there. We always do a big crowd. I want this to be a record crowd. Yeah, let's yes. pack it. Is it too much to ask? It's not. No. I don't think so. I don't think so. All right. Enough of that. Uh, it feels like we haven't even gotten the show started yet. We and, haven't. Uh, on today's program, uh, I have a movie to skip. Man, if I'd seen this in theaters, really? I would have screamed a lot louder. I watched it on pay-per-view, huh. and it just pissed me off. Mm. Anyway. As good uh, as all that? Rob is a TV writer. I want to find out about what you and uh, Mr. Holstein are up to. Okay. I want to find out what's going on with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Octomom, want to talk about her. Ray Lewis, I wanted to talk about this yesterday, but uh, Ray Lewis getting a lot of notoriety. The yeah. very latest uh, kids that are getting uh, hairdos with Ray Lewis's face in the back. And I want to talk about Ray Lewis, because oh, he's still fun. kind of a controversial yes, uh, figure. Face. And you know, you've heard it recently from uh, was it Wesley Welker's wife oh, that yeah, uh, tweeted the bit, after the big game? Yeah, bitter. Uh, I, yeah, I don't she was bitter. She was bitter and she was angry. But you know She's what? She's not keeping it tight, Oscar. A no, lot of people. A, C. A, a lot of people on the opposite <laughs> side of things are you know say things about Ray Lewis about. Mm-hmm. 
unresolved issues. Yes. And, you know, it's interesting. I, I don't know where I really line up on this. I want to talk about it. Uh, my kind of snow. Uh, did you guys like the broom work that I did today? Very I, nice. I thought certainly it was snow blowed. <laughs> it was not. And uh, I want to thank everybody for, for messages. I'll get to that. North Korea uh, and drama queen uh, Manti Tia Leone. Right. Uh, guy. Manti uh, but Manti I want to start Leone. with something, and I'm uh, I'm here to ask my brothers in arms yes. to, uh, to do this for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, earlier today. Now, we have had a uh, bit of a controversy on this show. Not really. But this uh, Rennie Rude factor. We talk oh, about this lady. Yes. Yeah. Give her a lot of uh, publicity. I wrote a uh, large paragraph with a nice formal invite. You did. And as of today, the statute as uh, of limitations is over. I uh, have unfriended Rennie Rude. Yeah! Wait, uh, nicely now, done. Now you are Finally. raising your hand, Mark. Just I just recently got a message from her on Facebook. Oh, too late. Well, really? did she meet the deadline? You? Did she meet yeah, the deadline? She, I, I don't I, know. I invited her. What's your what's your Let me uh let me let me pull it up here. Here it is. Okay. I so, unfriended her this morning. Well, he wow. pa- she the, Renny Rude she or, will always or be he my friend. Yes. Probably wrote the weakest link in the group and wrote Mark and said, "Oh, hey, what's going on? I'm really real and some uh some cropped uh Photoshop picture showed up." Right. Well, let's find out. Now, actually what she said is that she could probably call later this week or mid next week. She said that uh she's on the field most of the week and uh I and- thought she was a lawyer. Well, yes, she is, and I guess yes. on the field as a lawyer. What she, kind of field is that? She said, "You guys record at beginning of her work of my work day, so oh, right. it won't be super duper long." I guess she means the call. Uh, and and I said, you know, we could even do it. Sometimes we record at ten thirty. Mm-hmm. I told her if that helps, mm-hmm. that we would do that. And I also said, but remember, we also need Skype video, right? And she uh, told me that she won't be able to use Skype video calling from work. Uh-huh. She doesn't have her own office. I see. But she would be able to call nonetheless, just not video. Yeah, this is this is BS. Why? Well, I, I mean, come on. We have to make a vote. Who are we, Manti Teo? First of all, it doesn't matter. Jeez. Second of all, uh, I smell a rat. And third of all, uh, it's, I smell it's, catfish. It took like a week to get back to me while yeah. she was posting other things. And there was never any acknowledgement of my post. But rather than close the door, I no, mean, I, I, listen, I like right, to make a listen, movement. I thought you said we you're were like vote. you're like you're like horny you, Bob you, Spiewak, you where we were you lead vote. with your boner all the time, hey, and she doesn't know, exist. We're on the radio. Yes, I would I'm like sorry. to. Uh, I would like to make a motion, a movement. Yes, go ahead. I move that we all unfriend and block her. Oh my God, that's exactly what that's I was what talking I did. about. Yes. That's what I did. And, and I I'll think, do the same. What do you think, Mark? I'm happy to, to join along. I mean, she did make an effort, but it really bothered me that she said she can't effort. do she can't do the video. That you know, it, me. it does the only thing because she reached out to you. And when, when did she reach out to you? What's this was the uh, the, the original was uh, early this week, Monday. I mean, oh, yeah. oh, damn it! I wish you told but me. But she didn't get Beat back to me when I replied for a few days. But it might be fun to play it out. That's all I'm saying. Maybe maybe there's bogus. Maybe it's not. But either right. way, it might be fun to play it fun, out. There's some maybe fun. She'll come and put a finger on it. <laughs> there's, there's some there's some <laughs> fun to be had. There's here. always a chance that I could you show her are, things. You are the type of person that these people. Look for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You see, You're the Manti yeah. Teo of you, our show. You, you remember this... in the cartoons where a cartoon character, there would be a dissolve and you'd see a big sucker? You know, that that's, yeah. But that's it's dangerous, as we've seen with of, all this of, catfishing Of, of course crap. it is, but I'm not risking anything. I'm not putting anything on the line. <laughs> the only guy that would really wish this hard for a beautiful woman that doesn't exist to exist uh-huh. is a man that's corresponded with her. <laughs> if we looked into your messages, and I'm not going to, that's your private uh, right. account. <laughs> Is there a back and forth that you might have had with this young lady? We have communicated, but never uh, on a on a uh, never on a particularly flirtatious. Well, clearly level. you're a married man. Yes. Yeah, of course. Well, her he whole, would, her he whole would rap. never flirt. Her Sponsored whole, by Viagra. <laughs> her whole rap is flirtatious. That's it. Yeah, exactly. That's, I mean, that's what her, she does. Flirts she's, and, and, and fart jokes. She's publicly posted uh, flirta- you know, flirtations, but but in private messages, which have been very few, not 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 at all. Yeah, describe very few. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say three or four. I'd have to go back and look. Wow. There, and this is over a period of several years. <laughs> several wow. years? Yes. See, this is have the same. Have you known her since she was 12? <laughs> yeah. I check look, she's 24. You know, but Oscar, she has leukemia. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you know. no, no, no. All right. I think, as m- Rob, as much as I would love, if Mark hadn't gotten I'm that gonna message. I'm going to do it today anyway. <laughs> I might do it right now. <laughs> Rob is done. Well, but tell your father to do it. No, you tell him. Because you know, yeah. your father, oh, yeah. horny, horny Bob Spiewak, has probably sent her 
20 messages. Oh, of course he has. Yeah, and, and so now what, what is what is HB? Can you call your dad right now? I can. And we, he doesn't have to be on the radio, but can you <laughs> ask him if he's had any personal contact with Rennie Ruth? My guess, I'd, I'd, like to, I'd like to know what he thinks. What I'd his like take to know what is. My guess exactly. would be no, yeah. but let me call For him people and find that are, out. are just dropping into the show, could you explain who okay. Rennie Root is? Okay, Rennie Root is a lady on Facebook who's very pretty and puts very uh, interesting posts Blonde. about kind of a, a, a kind of a guy's girl, you know, that she likes football, cute, very she's cute. tough, she always yeah. has sexy pictures of herself. Mm-hmm. She, okay, calm, can you calm down for just a second? Because she's not real. I just don't want you to leave know, anything but out. But you are just so <laughs> obsessed with coming across as with the, the good ladies' man. <laughs> Stop it for a second. Let me just explain what I'm talking Stop about being here. Me. Yes, He's for not five being seconds. Me. Stop. What no, I'm me. Me. Oh, yeah. Stop being him. Sure. Hey, Here's the hey, deal. hold on. I got my dad. We're, right. You're not on the air, but we are on the radio right now. Um, have you ever had a personal message or any sort of one-on-one conversation with the <laughs> mythical Rennie Rude? <laughs> this is on the line with I hear uh, oh, Rob, why are you asking me that question? Never had gotten a PM, but has shared posts on walls. Uh-huh. So, so you've posts on walls. That's right. it. Does he believe she's real? Do you believe she's real? He does. Yes. He believes she's real. And with which brain are you thinking that? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'll call you after the show. Sorry, you ask, aren't you? <laughs> oh, he gets it now. Yeah, you're on Eastern Shore right. time. Down I need there. to explain. Rennie See you Rude later. is a lady on Facebook. Bye. Very the, the picture of Rennie Rude on Facebook. Well, you know what? It's a long explanation. I will explain when okay, we come bye. back about and tell uh, HBS. Thanks for coming on the show. He hates uh, us. Uh, you know, I know he does. <laughs> no, uh, he's, he's very happy. We'll take a break. We'll explain this entire controversy yeah. when we come back on the Michael Perry oh, show. Oh, oh, oh. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by Wait Not. Don't just make a resolution, make a commitment. If you are serious about losing weight, you're ready to succeed with Wait Not. That's Mr. Spiewak. He loves it. Mm-hmm. And uh, you love our friend Christy over there who hel- holds your hand and walks you through all the this The very stuff. best. As a matter of fact, within the next week or so, I'll be starting my final round to get to my total destination. The final round. Right now, Rob and Wait Not are challenging you to make the same commitment. Wait Not's commitment to help you lose weight fast and in a healthy way that includes real food, not packaged meals, and no shakes. Now, what you learn helps everyone in your family and teaches you and them how to eat right for your entire life. And uh, have you passed this along to the progeny and to uh, Carrie and to everybody else? Absolutely. Is everybody getting into it? Absolutely. It's, it's so great that there are meals you can make on Wait Not that are absolutely on plan that both the kids and Carrie ask for. It's time to look it's, better. It's great food. Feel better and be better. Call 855 Wait Not. That's 855 934 4486 or visit waitnot.com. Wait Not. Show us what you are made of. Oscar was right. I need to explain this whole Rennie thing. We're going uh, out of secret. This is like Pulp Fiction. Okay. What it is, is the, the, this lady that posted on Facebook has kind of gotten everybody all in a lather because of one reason. She posted an attractive photograph. The reason Buzz and Horny Bob Spiewak and all these guys get ramped up is because there is a pretty picture of her. Yeah. That is it. There is long. no evidence evidence that she exists. But also... Uh, there is no evidence that, uh, you know, she has pictures, and then when we asked her to verify, she sent what uh, what a lot of people argued may be a photoshopped a picture. A blind person called it and said... Hey, yeah, it was, was a, a photoshop picture. The yes. only thing in her defense, I might say that that photoshop was done purposely to look like a bad photoshop, a shtick. Yeah, she might be liking yeah, the whole right, controversy. Right, exactly. Yeah. Count, counselor, yeah. may, may I? I? You know, it's Uh-oh. so funny what you get into. <laughs> it, it's just amazing to me what well, you you decide to pay attention and join the conversation. Go ahead. What is- I've done some investigating. Okay. Oh. And uh, uh, in her photo albums, uh, among her profile pictures, there must be three dozen of them. Right. I, I, th- these are things that make me believe she's real. Kind of like uh, what no, they no, did no, to no. Manti If Teo. you were faking it, you just put in a couple. No, See what that red thing says, Mike? Mm-hmm. Unfriend? It says unfriend. <laughs> yeah, but Buzz, Boom! we're not saying she's not a real person. <laughs> right. We're just saying that the person Somebody perpetrating else. her... Mm-hmm. This is this is someone that's beautiful and like, lives like in the this, Manti lives, thing. Lives yeah, with the land. Manti, they used and a, is a human. They mm-hmm. used a picture, right. and that's what he based his right lust exactly. On. So this is done, and now mm-hmm. with the whole catfishing thing, this is done. Is she doing this? I have no earthly idea. I have no way of verifying it, no way of proving. I hope. Now, Mark, you were going to chime in with something as well. well. But this is a pretty lady who has reached out to everybody on the show. She is a a legend fan of the show. And it's more than a pretty lady. She's a big fan. She's funny. She's a lawyer. Smart. She makes fart jokes. Yes. She's almost like someone set out to create a cyborg to be attractive to to people. To be attractive to men. Yeah. In general. People like us. What were you going to say? I was going to say, if she can't make, if her schedule doesn't allow her 
to do a Skype call with us. What if we asked her I don't to... care if she does a Skype call. I'll tell you this. If we get her on the line, that's a start. I'll just say, can we get some kind of uh, verification? Well, that's why and, I'm... I'll, and I'll say that in a very nice way. My mm -hmm. suggestion would be that she actually just puts a video up, a personal video to us on our fan page. That would be easy. And, and we can, you know what? I would say... Do, we do this works. in two steps, and this is the way we get what we want, mm -hmm. and we get more material out of it. Exactly. Uh, you know, as far as, because if oh, she's using yeah. us, I want to use her. Exactly. Sure. So uh, we'll have the phone call. Okay. And set it up for whenever she wants to come on. Okay. And then uh, during that phone call, we will say, is there a way you could put up a video talking about the Mike O'Mara show yeah. and, uh, you know, that type of thing? And, uh, you know, and then... And we have to see her face it's in not, the video. First of all, yeah. no one has been duped. She hasn't right. duped anybody that I'm no aware harm, of. No harm, no foul. Nothing malicious. And I need to know because I want to stop payment on that check. <laughs> Do you think you're going to bone her, Buzz? Is that what you I, think? I'm Okay. You know, yeah, I'm, I'll be all right. You know, say something negative about Rennie Root. Hmm. Oh, I don't think I can because I don't know anything negative about her. <laughs> yeah, but you're saying a lot of positive things about her. <laughs> yeah, you because don't know. I, you don't know for certain that she's want, real. I want to believe. <laughs> I hope and I want to believe. Okay, yeah, sponsored by Viagra. You know, remember, the, remember when you almost died? <laughs> yeah, and we said, look, man, that <laughs> cough is getting worse and worse and worse. <laughs> if you took ten percent of the interest you are <laughs> in Rennie Root in yeah. your own health, <laughs> I think everything would be much, much better. But to be fair, Oscar, at that time. He wanted to believe he wasn't dying. <laughs> <laughs> so, is it agreed we will have Rainy come on the show yeah. by, via yes. phone? Mm -hmm. We'll speak to her via phone. I'd love to hear the voice. Mm -hmm. I really would. How you and doing? Now, here's a theory. <laughs> and now, when did she say she wants to do this? She said she was going to get back to me with a day that works well for next her. Next week? Yes. But we're, she but she's planning on next unless week. Unless I can try to get her uh, for Friday's show. It doesn't matter if it's... Uh, but but she next week... She'll be on the 5th of never. But has she indicated to you with her uh, messages... That, and why did she reach out to you when she came, I don't just know responded that, to my post? I don't understand that either. Very frustrated with that. You know? yeah. oh, and I've had that, no contact with her up until that. She night. can't and, respond to me because I'm no longer her friend. And may I say, and I'm not either. I won't answer. Oh, that's so right. I, I can't respond well, She can to do her. messages, though, Solid unless you blocked her. I blocked her. Oh. When I unfriend, I block. <laughs> Solidarity. Wow. Yeah. When I unfriend, I block. <laughs> that's my new thing now. You can't get that last dig in to me mm -hmm. when I unfriend you, so you're blocked <laughs> when you're unfriended. I'm, I my wanna, page is still open. I wanted to say... So are your pants. Jeez, <laughs> Jesus, you're killing me with this. So Buzz uh, unzipped his page. She at some point <laughs> at some point during the messages she indicated she would talk to you next week. She would talk to us next week. Um, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. So is it agreed that she has one week? You'll work it out with her yes, hopefully. Absolutely. Uh -huh. If she if and if it doesn't get buttoned up, like if right. there's some kind of game going on right. where we can't get her, bam, she's yeah. she's gone. That makes sense. No so, longer so part of our, time our show. On Thursday. Yes. Again, on, I say we give her to Wednesday. On the record, <laughs> she does not exist. I've said it from day one. Yeah, I know. You're mm -hmm. misogyny. And it's possible. It's cracking it's me possible. up. Here. Yeah, look, we're at opposite ends here. But, yeah, well, yeah. But it's yeah, we're, and both, I'll take either him. One, either one could be right. <laughs> Yeah. Either one could be right. No, but you go crazy. Like, it's going to, like, you're going to meet her crazy. someday, and she's going to be, you well, know, she's going to oh, float. I love your newscast. Oh, you're the uh, best. Exactly. Why do you what let if, them make fun of you? What if, well, yeah, and what if she said that? <laughs> you know, <laughs> then where would we be? Yeah, exactly. Where uh, would we be? I, I on this don't. Couch. I, this is one of those rare times where I am not going to pass judgment, <laughs> and I'm simply going to say, I will, we'll see where it goes. I don't particularly care which way it goes. Right, right. It's fine for me either it's, way. It'll be entertaining either way. Right. But, uh, you know, any information. And may I, may I appeal to all of our listeners? To just, oh, Buzz. To just, oh, Buzz. I've met you. Look at you. You're on the radio. Let happen. me tell you. It could happen. For catfishing, <laughs> for catfishing, there is no better target than oh, the man sitting talk across Talk to me about me. Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Talk with that voice. What if she gets such a hi, What do you yeah. mean if? When? Yeah. So, <laughs> well, still. If you know, I, I'll have. Hold on, I want to make an ap appeal to our listeners. Yes, everybody, just chill out on this too, okay? With the whole, yeah. This Don't is, help. This is our theory. Well, yeah, Adam, I'm talking to you. Corolla? Okay, Adam, no, Chirac. Oh. Yeah, ah. Adam. Oh, he's all keyed up. With you the know, Super I love Bowl you. Everything. You know, I love you, but but buddy, <laughs> I really, I mean, when I'm reaching out. You know, because I will. I I wish I had it now. Now that I'm I'm not on her page and I've unfriended yeah. her because I didn't get a response after a couple of weeks. I said to hell with it. How uh, many times did you write her? So many. I just put. I posted on her page, <laughs> and I said on behalf of the TMOS show, yes. I'd like to invite you. Very nice. And then and then nothing happened. But our listeners right away were, like, yeah, I bet she's not real. You know, immediately everybody mm -hmm. wanted to put it on my thread, mm -hmm. and right. so I didn't like that because I certainly don't. If it if it proves to be that this person is real. 
I will feel a little guilty. I won't. Be, be, <laughs> not one bit. <laughs> of course you won't. Have you ever met a, a beautiful woman that didn't want to show herself or get more attention? Um, you know, I don't. In this social network, it's too young, Oscar. It's too young a medium oh, to know. Oh, are you kidding me? I mean, really, it's so young. You, you know, you've got a different frame of reference than I do. I mean, do gorgeous women want to share who they are? Well, she does, mm -hmm. and she shares pictures as well. Yeah. What she doesn't seem to do is respond well to like direct requests. Well, that's what that's what I'm saying. Any woman that's getting this type of attention. Whether she wants to admit it or not, loves it. And I'm that's, sure and look, she does. Uh, and right. that's fine. Sure. But if we're if we're doubting the fact that she really exists, she would say, "I'm going to show those <laughs> yeah, guys." I would think so, and Come it on. would happen re relatively Quit. quickly. Who do you think? And what I, what makes me more suspicious is the lengths of time that pass right. with correspondence. Well, because with this person. it's part of the master plan. <laughs> and who do you think has a lower voice, Adam Chirac or the person pretending to be Rennie Rude? <laughs> <laughs> What's great about Buzz and Rob is Buzz and Rob are completely on the opposite yes. ends of the spectrum. Yeah. Buzz would do anything to make this true. Yes. You know, yes, I would. Oh, he's going home to build an animatron. <laughs> Hello, Disney. You'll, you'll be sorry. Whereas Rob will be, Rob truly, from the bottom of his heart, will be disappointed if she proves to be real. Well, yes, I, yes, no amount will. of proof will ever make me feel she truly is real. <laughs> true. That's even better. No amount I'll of doubt proof you the will whole do it. You could, you could, she could come in right uh, now and dance on Buzz's lap. I'd say fake. If you want to know, for those of you that are listening, especially new, you know, people that have found us again here in Washington, D.C., and thanks for sharing that. That A lot of people have done that. Yeah. I'm very grateful uh, for that, but I will tell you, this is the type of world that we live in now. <laughs> yeah. This Small, is more tiny. fun than it's just a tiny little world mm -hmm. of Facebook and listeners and everything. But this is a woman who I would say the celebrity she most uh, resembles. Who would be? Mm. She's kind of Goldie Hawn like, you know, yeah, a the young, the young Goldie Hawn, but with longer hair. This, longer hair. This goes back to the days of MySpace, where uh -huh. when when I was single when I was younger, I would get a request from a pretty girl. Yeah. Right? I'd write back bot b o t like it was a robot. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Just just to say, okay, you're a bot. Right. Right. And the one in one hundred chance would be like, what? Mm -hmm. And then I'd be like, you're a robot. Right. And then girls out of their they would go out of their way if they were real. Right. Yeah. I'm no robot. Here are more pictures. Right. right. And About it's... once every six months, I'll get a private message from some girl on Facebook. That's it's always the same thing. Your Facebook profile looks interesting. Yeah. I'd yeah. like to get to know you better. Yeah. And I go and I click, and the person has like two friends. Spam. And so what I do is I always right. try to prolong the conversation with questions like. Do you ever eat ham? I really <laughs> like ham. And then eventually the thread dies, but it's fun to prolong it. Do that you ever stuff. do that, Buzz? Uh, I, I, you know, to me, <laughs> he I doesn't mean, ask if they're I, eating ham. I, though. I, I've, I've spot, I spotted many, many cases that were obvious bots. Yeah, I mean, right. they, you know, they're just obvious. Right, right. Uh, and and uh, sometimes it's poor use of the English language. Uh, sometimes it's just an unbelievable picture with nothing else attached to it. There's, so, the, there's a great picture so, of her right so there. So you know it's a bot. We'll, yeah, Let and we should, we should, uh, you know, I, I don't want to put a picture up on our page, but uh, we're, yeah, we're looking at the yeah. picture right now. And no, she's, are, she's a beautiful human being. She really, whoever whoever, that, whoever, whoever that person is. is. No. Spectacularly pretty. I mean, yeah. a girl next door right. pretty. Uh, okay, let's be fair. The yes. people that are listening to the show right now. Yes. And I love you all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's the first sort of half truth. Right. right they red they flag. all uh, they they just look like who's that actress from Throw Mama from the Train? Ann Ramsey. Anne Ram <laughs> yeah, they're all Ann Ramseys. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they don't look like this. Yeah. We have had people. We listen. We have people that show up for our different events, and there are exceptions to the rule. Yes. You know that they yeah, usually show up and say. This isn't what I expected. Yeah, but <laughs> right. there are guys' wives that have been dragged there. I know, yeah, I yeah, know. But yeah. we do, un unlike with all with supreme respect to the the franchise that is the Big O and Duke. Yes, show, <laughs> I know you have been uh, you have been bitterly disappointed throughout your career yes. based on the uh, that your core demographic. <laughs> yes, which I mean, they're great people. They're great people. They're great terrific. People. But they, I've also met some hotties. At Big O and Duke's appearance, yeah, they've probably been dragged there. <laughs> well, <laughs> and their will in yeah. a trunk. Mike, these but are hotties that charge by the hour. It's a small <laughs> number, but there have been female fans that have been attractive over the years. Yes, yeah. Rob. It, Rob ends up inviting them all to his house. That's, that's right. right. That's uh, true. That's a, or, or they end up painting my where they, kitchen. They become you know, that's friends the way of the family. Yeah. But it's but it's good. And or they're you that's know, right, Buzz. Or they're police officers <laughs> in different jurisdictions. Yes. There are exceptions. Am, am I right yes. about that? Yes. There are exceptions to the rule. Yes. So I mean, I'm making some people's day right. No. It's not. It's not universal, but it's true, and we end up knowing them all very well. Yes. Of course. Not carnally, but uh, that's it. Not I yet. have a question for you. Yes, sir. I'd like you to be more invested in this, and not just uh, able to sit over there and be the nice guy when uh -huh. it comes to Rennie Rude. I, if Rennie Rude 
is proven to be fictitious yes. in any way, yes. what are you prepared to do? Uh, Can you give us some well, sort I, of I would, satisfaction? I, I would certainly admit that I was wrong. Is there something else you'd like me to do? Uh, I don't know. How way, about, to, way to go out on a limb. <laughs> well, I mean, the way, how about the way, gifts? I, I don't know what you want. Uh, yeah. Gifts for all a of us. A penalty. How about uh, how about a twenty dollars gift for everybody on the show if she's fake? Sure. Okay, Re- <laughs> Rennie, save me. <laughs> <laughs> See? See, there's there a little pain. That's there enough pain for him. Okay, all right. That's enough. Still want right. to back your girl? No, yes, That's I do. That's the first I'm, time he yes, turned no, on her a little I, bit. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm in. I just okay. I just want her to help me out here. Okay, I'm we got to take a break. We'll come back on the Michael Mara show. Hey, make it sound like aluminum cans in a bag, but I know y'all want it. Welcome back to MichaelMarishow.com. That was festive. Yes, it yeah. was. You know, you write things down when you're prepping a little show yeah. like this, and you, you, you ne- hope they all go like what that. What a terrific know. first hour. It was terrific, <laughs> and welcome back to the second hour of the Michael Mara Show. That's for those of you that are listening on the yeah. radio. For yeah, those sure. of you on the podcast, how's that workout going? Uh, anyway, uh, this portion of our program is brought to you by <laughs> Vistaprint.com. The best. I love Vistaprint. There's nothing better for an advertiser, somebody who is advertising a product, than having a company like this that does something that I really think is the best deal in any business you can get. Business owners know this. This is 250 wonderful quality business cards for you how would for you just de- $10. How would you describe the stock? Heavy paper stock. It's the best, is it not? Millions of business owners use uh, users use Vistaprint because it's affordable and it's easy to create a quality custom business card. You quality. can do it online. They've got all these designs, and you know the deal is. I've said this before. You can put on your business card, "I am fat." And print 250 of them and hand them out and make your friends laugh. Right. And it's going to cost you $10. What do you care? Or yeah. you can design an elaborate, beautiful, gorgeous, professional business card. And you can do that for $10 as right. well. Amazing. To get this offer plus free shipping, just go to Vistaprint.com. Enter our code TMOS and uh, satisfaction is guaranteed. That's 250 cards, $10 only if you go to Vistaprint.com and enter our code. That's TMOS. So please do it today. All right. Also on the program today, I'd like to talk, if I may, uh, just about. Uh, Ray Lewis. Um, I have seen the uh, and, and I and I, I'll give you my two cents on the Ray Lewis situation, and then I'll let everybody discuss this. But when I saw that the kids are getting Ray Lewis uh, shaved into the back of their heads, mm-hmm. and it's I watched uh, the championship game, and when here's the only issue I have. I I don't begrudge the guy. The guy was not charged with anything. He moved on with his life. He uh you know was not uh, involved in in this according to his people and he has been in the league for years and years and years. But he is a controversial figure. Mm-hmm. He uh he still was involved in an incident that resulted uh, in a man losing his life. He was somehow on the periphery of it. Right. Well, I will not say yeah. whether he was guilty or not guilty right. or what the truth was or whether there was a cover up or anything like that. But at the same time it's astonishing to me how this man has become the face of the Baltimore Ravens mm-hmm. and become the, the megastar of the Baltimore Ravens. And I'm curious, this is just a question I lay mm-hmm. out there, could all of this crime slash controversy be the reason? That his star is elevated. Uh, look, I, now you're pretty close to the whole Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, situation. I think that uh, you've met Ray Lewis. Yes, I think it's fair for you to say that because uh, Baltimore isn't like your top market town, right? And I'm not a big football guy not by any means, town. but I'm a big fan of the Baltimore Ravens as I had a close connection with the team. Yeah, Dominic would, Foxworth would say, is a good friend of yours. Would you say Baltimore is much closer to a town than a city, especially its size? It's got uh, a, it has sort of a, a more cohesive feel. And it's they've got a, a very a close relationship with their people and their celebrities. I it's, love Baltimore. I've mm-hmm. always loved great, Baltimore. Great town. It's a working class town. Where it, it uh, truly is. So, yeah. You know where it's uh, you know DC is more of a white collar town. There's always been a little rivalry between sure. the yes. cities with that. But you know, getting back to the whole. So Ray I just Lewis I just thing. want to give you an example here. For uh, this all stems from the controversy that came from the championship game when Wes Welker's wife, who by the way. Uh, has a has a great title. She used to be a former Miss Hooters International. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, wow, international! That is. Big. <laughs> she, she got pissed off at the end of the uh, at the end of the game. Yes, and said uh, she was very proud of her husband, and I'm ad libbing here, but right. uh, she she had hoped that some people would uh, check out Ray Lewis's Wikipedia page, and there you would find a litany of allegations that he has multiple wives and uh, multiple children from different wives. And, it was a really nasty yes. text about Ray Lewis, and she has since apologized. Uh, profusely, and but, when when you think about role models in the NFL, and you think about people that have done 
bad things in their life. When I think of Ray Lewis, I don't even think of that incident anymore. Right. And that was just brought up once again because of clearly this this woman that was upset that her husband lost a football game, and she's used to him winning every football. I'll game. I'll give you the quote. Okay, uh, this is uh, this is what her um, what's her name? I'm trying to see here. Uh, let me see. Ray Lewis is leaving after the Super Mrs. Bowl. Right? Mrs. Welker. Mrs. Yeah, Welker. Yeah. Is, is it right. Lawrence? As slightly Billy screen again, Burns Welker. Uh, Anna Burns Welker. That's her name. Okay. Anna Burns. Uh, Burns. Proud, proud of my husband and the Pats, Burns Welker wrote. Uh, and her name is Anna. Mm-hmm. By the way, if anyone is bored, please go to Ray Lewis's Wikipedia page. Six kids, four wives, acquitted for murder, paid a family off. Yay, what a Hall of Fame player, a true role model. Now, I'm, I, what I was trying to find out, if there was anything at all that Ray Lewis did... Uh, you know, to he was acquitted to warrant this. And, he was acquitted. No, I'm talking he about was. during the game, Oscar. I'm saying, was there oh, anything no. that did he did he Ray do anything? Lewis is retiring this year. It's right. his last hurrah. Yeah, I know, and that's why Peyton Manning a- waiting in the locker room for yeah. like an hour and a half to meet him, and that was a classic. He move, is a Hall of Fame player. The one thing, the only knock on Ray Lewis now is that people, even Baltimore fans, are over this attention that Ray Lewis is taking away from the team at every at, at the end of every playoff game. It's always him crying in the middle of the field. Mm -hmm. It just gets overwhelming. Sure. And as a Ravens fan, it gets overwhelming because I'm like, look, I'm happy you guys won too. Right. Ready ready for a little fairness here, what she said? Uh, For accuracy's sake, the uh, writer of this article says, I'll point out that Lewis did not have four wives as he has never been married. As for the rest of her statement, there are harsher things written about Lewis on Twitter or Facebook after every Ravens playoff win. They just usually don't come from family members Mm -hmm. of the... uh, She apologized Monday, uh, issued this statement. I am deeply sorry for my recent post on Facebook. I let the competitiveness of the game Mm -hmm. and the comments people were making about a team I dearly love get the best of me. My actions were emotional or rational. Sincerely apologize to Ray, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but uh, anyway, it goes it goes on and on. Man, she is a hottie though. Uh-huh. There, I think there are a lot of she people. Is. Who does she look like? Is she real? Uh, yeah, <laughs> no, I don't care. Picture Part, exactly. I'm, I'm sure parts of her are real. <laughs> Who's more of a villain, Michael Vick or Ray Lewis? I don't know. And you back to your question. You don't know. Uh, no, but no. I, I'm old enough to remember that incident, and I remember right. what he did during that a lot incident. Of, a lot of people and, still feel he skated on a murder. Team. And I, I, I'm one of the people that uh, I'd like. I, that, that was. I've never seen these. Sometimes justice can be very swift mm-hmm. and things cannot get resolved. And I'm one, I am one who believes that uh, that situation uh, happened very quickly. And the man, I still think there are a lot more questions than there are, are yeah, but answers. The man, it's not like he hung out. The man was jailed right away. Right. I remember True. that incident as well. True. OJ situation where he it, no, he was jailed right away, kept in jail and then found not acquitted. He was acquitted. Right. But you ask an interesting question we haven't answered yet. Did Ray Lewis go on to su- greater success because of that incident? And did further, I would add, did Michael Vick go on to greater success? No, because no, of no, his, no, 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 no. No, I don't think that's possible law. because Michael Vick was found guilty. Yes. And therefore, I mean, if right. you go on just both, what, I mean, and look at this. They didn't propel their stardom. It was their, it, were they infamous? I couldn't deny that. But Ray Lewis continued that's to play the question. That's level. the big question for me. Did it inspire them, though, to work uh, harder? I mean, that's another point. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's the question that I, that I want to know. Did... This, you know, having that bad boy image, which mm-hmm. he definitely did because mm-hmm. of the incident, did that propel the incident? And has the NFL used that? I have never seen a, a defensive player get as much press as uh, Ray Lewis gets uh, during games and and camera time during games. Well, and I, mean, and I just wonder whether he, that, you know, what's how that? How many seasons has he played? Like, 14. 14 seasons in the NFL. Not, so a long well, career. Well, you... You only see that because you're watching these games now. He's always got this much attention because he's high. Mm-hmm. He plays at such a high level, yes. and not that many uh, defensive backs play for 14 years or 16 years or whatever it is. This uh, let me let me read something by Mike Florio, who I've, I've read a lot. Uh, if a if a member if members of the Ravens. Uh, Heckled a reporter from USA Today who dared to ask linebacker Ray Lewis about an unsolved double murder case. Mm -hmm. They could soon be getting the rotten tomatoes and eggs ready for anyone with a four-letter network affiliation. Mm -hmm. ESPN, which repeatedly will hire Lewis after he retires, devoted an entire episode of Outside the Lines to the impact of the 13-year-old murder case on the legacy of one of the greatest greatest players in NFL history. Mm -hmm. I totally agree he's a great player. He's an Mm -hmm. uh, amazingly intense player, the kind of uh, player you want to have on a defensive team. Uh, A pre-taped... Item narrated by Bob Lee revisited the aftermath of the case, which resulted in Lewis being charged with murder and eventually pleading guilty to obstruction of justice. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. he has been uh, 
he he was charged and pled guilty to a break, breaking the law. That right. is breaking the law. The package included defiant quotes from former Ravens tight end Shannon Sharp and former Ravens coach Brian Billick from the week preceding the Super Bowl, uh, which were intended to force the media to turn the page permanently, or at least until after the game, on any talk of unsolved murders. I find it inexcusable that the that uh, organizations from the top down, from the owner to the coach, went into that Super Bowl and somehow acted like Ray Lewis got a bad deal. Sally Jenkins of the Washington Post said during the segment, Ray Lewis got a raw deal compared to who? The dead guy? Mm -hmm. Lewis may find it inexcusable that so much time has been spent by his future employer on a 13-year-old case, which he refused to discuss earlier this month when questioned about it by USA Today. ESPN's decision to devote a full 30 minutes to the topic arguably makes the subject fair game for everyone else. That's why I'm talking about it right Mm -hmm. now. Sure. uh, My whole whole heading under this is that the controversy still exists. Michael Heastand, a guy that uh, we have had on this show before, uh, on the old Donna Mike show, of USA Today, participated in the live discussion that followed. He says, there's certainly nothing wrong with anyone raising questions about murders that are unsolved, which this one is. Mm -hmm. Uh, Indeed, if the media outlet that will soon be issuing paychecks to Lewis can raise those questions, then anyone can. There's no reason why you you, can't ask that. So so you're very emotional about this. You get get pretty ramped up because you're you're closer to the subject than a lot of other people. Because I see what his foundation has done. I right. see all the good that he's done. Right. As far as that murder is concerned, if if 13 years have passed, you think someone would have said something by now? Mm-hmm. No, right. not really. No? no? I mean, I, I don't. I mean, why do you think somebody would say something? Well, I think I that... Mean, well, you want somebody's going to be a snitch? I think someone's eventually going to say something. Something went... this, And if they didn't have a case against him, if, they, if, if he obstructed justice, basically he, he probably... They didn't. pled guilty to obstructing yes. justice. Yes. Right. If, he, if right. he obstructed justice, he, he, which he did... Right. That doesn't mean he murdered the guy. Oh, I agree with that. Right. So, but my getting back to my original question: yes. Do you think that, uh, from a marketing standpoint, that the NFL or the coverage or whoever is responsible for these type of things, mm-hmm. d- it seems to me when I watch a Baltimore game, it's Ray Ray all the time. Yes. Well, it's, it's easy. dance. It's like they seem to focus on that. And I would think that when you just mentioned it a few seconds ago, it detracts from uh, a lot of the uh, the other things. It does. I think when you get a guy, you know, suddenly he resurrects his career in the NFL. Suddenly he puts the trouble behind him for. 13 years, yes. and he has an illustrious career in the NFL. Yeah. When I say suddenly, suddenly that attention is so intense on him now that they get to the playoffs Because he's retiring. And, right. And he's retiring. Right. You're getting a lot of mm-hmm. scrutiny. Yeah. And I think these things are, uh, they're bound to come up, and that's just the way life I goes. agree with you. I agree with you. But if you look at the media attention, you take away that, uh, the, the situation he got himself into 13 years ago. Right. And you look at the coverage of every marquee player in a playoff game, a Tom Brady, a Tony Gonzalez, who don't have this rap behind them. Mm-hmm. They still get the same amount of coverage. My problem with Ray Lewis is that he he, he just, he, I feel like he's an attention whore. That's all it is. You, so you're, 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 you're thinking that he, he, he seeks this out? Is yeah, that but, the point well, you're yeah, trying well, to make? Think about, I, I always go back to when so there are some players out there that play the game and they do it with some sort of dignity. When they score a touchdown, they don't dance. Right. So they don't do anything. Right. You're looking at Nocho Cinco. Nocho Cinco uh, used to go out of his way to get attention. Right. And Ray, I hate. And I hate that. Yes. But Ray Lewis does that. Right. In his own manner, whether yeah. it be where he's praising God or he's doing right. whatever. He's doing the dance. Uh, he's doing his dance. He's that's got what his he dance. does. Yeah. But that's what sells. Right. And you know what? The NFL you is know? aware of that. And also, it's not just the NFL. It's also, I was never really I aware of it. I cannot stand what the NFL has become. Oh, I know. I hate the fact but that it's not just I'm them. with Oscar. It's like, why? There was a day when the greats of the greats of the greats would score a touchdown and put the football in the end zone, maybe do a little fist pump, mm-hmm. and it was so classy, and it had so much dignity. And then, you know, and, and, and some guys still do this in the NFL. Yeah, but it's the, but the ones that are rewarded in sports are the flashy guys, you know. That, that are that are a holes, and I was and never I'm aware. Wait, of let it. me just finish. Okay. These guys also, if you if you look at a lot of these careers, you look at, at careers of certain players. Uh, you know, I'll give you examples. Uh, that Mark Gastineau comes to mind. I think he's had a tough life after after football. You look at Dennis Rodman in basketball. Yeah. You know who was so flashy, and I'm he's had a too. he's had a tough situation. Mm-hmm. And then you look at uh, you know players in the NFL. The statistics bear Terrell out. Owens. Terrell Owens is, is is in bankruptcy right, right now. You have these guys, these flashy guys. It doesn't end well for them either. Right. And I think this gets back to you know certain things that they ought to you know this unsportsmanlike issue in the NFL. I'm not saying don't sell. 
celebrate. Celebrating's fun. You want to, but celebrations have become when celebrating and showing up your opponent became a big deal. Right. You don't see it in other sports. They you have snarky. joy yeah. and you do it when it's directed at the fans. I'm watching every playoff game, every effing touchdown that's scored. Right. You see them taunting. The home fans, Taunting. if they're an away team, yeah, that's not. But the NFL dignity. hasn't. They hadn't. Uh, they haven't sat on their hands. You get a fifteen-yard uh, penalty if you go out of. If your you way. go, if you go too yeah, far, yeah, I yeah. don't think they've gone far enough with. It. I guess that's my point. You know, it's one thing to celebrate; it's another thing to uh, show up the the fans. You know, and a sport where you would never see it happen. Uh, you know, you look at the NHL, and if you taunt in the yeah, NHL, but, well, the next well, you know, the next you. shift that you have, you're going to get your yeah, payback, yeah, and it's going to happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd like to see it go away, and I think that the NFL likes a lot of these guys that do this. But then, at the end of the day, you know, the situations don't go. Well. Mark, you wanted to say something. You know, I, I was actually I'm in full agreement with you, and and the whole thing with the whole story with Ray Lewis right now. I'm with Baltimore, Oscar. You said it. Baltimore is just going. They've been going crazy about Ray Lewis. Lowell yeah. tells me all the time mm-hmm. that the, the that's all everybody talks about right, in that right. town, and and I I think that he needs to uh, I think he needs to lay low for more, his team. Be, just be a little more. It's a great humble. idea. Yeah, I think humble. that's a great. You know, we're talking purely football about yeah, it. But lay low for your team. Do you think he's out. going to allow? Is, will he be allowed to do that? Because the media has now two weeks to fill before the Super Bowl, and the media is so about telling the story that's easy that that's the best story. Well, he, that's the best story going into the God, game. He's the team leader. He, right. he he decided that he's going to retire before this run. He said, this is going to be my last season. Right. Well, actually, he said it right when he came back from his injury. Yes. He missed most of the season, and he came back a few weeks ago mm-hmm. and these are then my last let everybody games. know. Yeah, these are right. my last right. games. Yeah. So it's uh, a- you know, the thing about Ray Lewis, I, I totally agree with Oscar. He brings it on himself because he is one of the players that likes the spotlight and likes to do it. And I would imagine there's probably a lot of anger in Ray Lewis as well that says, you know, nobody's going to tell me how to well, live my life or do after, what I do. Especially after he hears this episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if I'm producing a TV show, which a, a football game is, it's a sporting event, but mm-hmm. it's a TV show. Right. I'm going to make sure that somebody has an eye on Ray Lewis the entire time because right. he's going to entertain the millions of people watching well, the game. He's the story. In one way or another. He's I the wish, story. He's the plot line. I wish the story was pure. You know, I've always felt this way. Yeah. Baseball, football, hockey, basketball. I don't care. I've always wished that the story was more ability than all the crap that we on need. The all, field, the bell, all the, all the, the bells and whistles yeah. that we, we need around this. And, you know, as far as paying his dues, you know, he pled guilty to obstruction of justice and... Not uh, murder. Now, listen, right. I also have to say, this is, I don't like reading Wiki because I don't try trust wiki and right. anything can be in there it says here on wiki and, and remember take this with a grain of, of salt course, of course. that lewis gained notoriety for his involvement in a january 2000 fight that re- resulted in an indictment for murder and aggravated assault charges in a plea agreement he pled guilty to obstruction of justice in exchange for testimony against two other defendants mm-hmm. so you know that might be saving his own ass or it might be doing the right thing right. you can interpret that anyway the long and short of it is that you know the judicial system has you know finished with Ray Lewis yes. on this particular yeah. subject, but at the same time, uh, a lot of people remember that incident, and I think from a PR standpoint, it does take away from the team. If a to, guy to like that. Michael Vick can kill dogs, yeah. right? He can kill dogs, but there's so many that have not forgiven him for that either. Right. Yeah, no, no, he'll but, never be forgiven. But we have. If you right. think about it, because he—that was that was the most dramatic fall from grace. I remember talking about this right. uh, with Chad when we were on the radio. This happened when we were at WJFK, right? Hundreds of millions of dollars were lost, and we said this guy's never coming back. How mm-hmm. the how the hell is he going to make that money mm-hmm. back? Right. He comes back, he signs, he, he plays well. Played well. Right. Uh, the Philadelphia Eagles reward him. Right. Sponsors come back on, and now he's not doing so well right now. But he's made his right. money back. Well, and he paid his dues. He yes. went to jail. Right. Yes. And, I, and I'm I'm a believer that that's it. Do I have to like the guy? No, I don't no, like the no. guy. I'll always hate what he did. People but he moved paid on. His dues. Yeah, but, but you got to still... respect the system, and that's the same system that told us that Ray Lewis did not kill somebody. And if so, you... how le- if you can trust the system at that level, you have to trust it across the spectrum. Yeah. And if you pay your dues, I'm all for coming back. What I don't like is I would think that Ray Lewis himself, this is just my feeling, mm-hmm. yes. you know, after paying those dues, perhaps you, you know, go about your business in a workmanlike way. And you're a great player and you don't need Be to humble, do like all the said. crap that you do. But look what he's got. He certainly got a paycheck out of it. Yeah. I mean, he's more marketable because that's what the NFL likes. They like that. Yeah, but well, they he... like that. And maybe the NFL has, maybe this has nothing to do with this prior incident. Maybe it has everything to do with the fact that he's a flashy player. That's the guy you want to put on TV because he's going to entertain right. you. Yeah, it frustrates <laughs> the hell I just say thank God the Super Bowl is on CBS this year because Jim Nance will tell us how to feel. Oh, you know, and uh, you know, later next week, next week I'm going to do my spiel on Phil Sims. We'll take a break. Come do you back. like him? Yeah, yes, him. <laughs> we'll come back with the audio evolved right here on the Mike O'Mara Show. Mm-hmm. 
Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show, everybody. This segment, Rob's Magic Audio Vault, is brought to you by our 2013 VIP packages. This uh, will not be a commercial. This will serve as a thank you for all of you that have, again, gotten involved with our VIP packages. You are our kind of folks, yeah. and we really appreciate that. You can enhance your vip We always talk about that. Enjoy our bonus shows, the video on demand feeds, plus the live video feeds of our weekly show, and it's all now available for your mobile device. Some packages also also come with the DVD of our Reno show, and you guys are buying these packages and supporting the show. We Thank appreciate you. that. The 2013 yearly subscriptions are available now at MikeOmeraShow.com. You get every little bit of us, everything we talk about, All the good censored stuff. and uncensored. Mm-hmm. Just click on the word bonus at the top left-hand side of our homepage. That's the Mike O'Mara Show 2013 VIP packages. And thank you to all the people that have signed up for those already. Awesome. We want to set some records this year and uh, make it bigger and better than ever. You've already beaten last year. Keep them coming. We Thank appreciate you. that. Mm-hmm. Without further ado, let's get right to it. And uh, are we uh, pretty much buttoned up on the whole Ray Lewis situation? I yeah. think so. Uh, we'll it's see what good. happens. Can't argue with his playing ability. That's one thing. Man, I think everybody you know in the NFL would have. And you know, now that he wears that Terminator uh, arm brace from his busted tricep, wow. He looks yeah. Yeah. Transform. But if we find out he's been lip syncing, it's over. It's yes. done. done. That's right. Absolutely. Uh, let's get right to the audio vault with Rob Spiewak. Take it away, Rob. Hillary Clinton, your good lady, Mike, did not disappoint you yesterday. Kiss your good lady for me, Rob. We uh, when we finished up the show, you were looking at pictures of her during the Benghazi hearings. Yeah, and I watched and saying, the other clip. You say you were looking at her, and she said, man, it looks like she's really giving it to him. There were two big moments yesterday. Like okay. Share. First one, she gets emotional, and to me... I don't think she's a good enough actor to pull this off. I think she really does care about what went down during that. For me, this is not just a matter of policy. It's personal. I stood next to President Obama as the Marines carried those flag-draped caskets off the plane at Andrews. I put my arms around the mothers and fathers, the sisters and brothers, the sons and daughters, and the wives left alone to raise their children. And later on... Um, I watched that live, incidentally, oh, when you? those okay. caskets came back from Benghazi. Right. And, uh, you know, it was a, it was a sad moment. Uh, look, it, I think it's an insult to uh, anybody that does anything in the public eye uh, to say that she would been those would have been crocodile tears. I yeah, think the yeah. people that that's coming from a partisan she was point of view, of that, yeah. and yeah. that's that's crap. I thought that was legitimate emotion that she was showing there. I don't like her answer about uh, what does it matter. It does matter. You want to find out what the issue was. Well, Senator mentioning that uh, Senator Ron Johnson from Wisconsin, Mike, mm-hmm. yep. uh, got all up in her grill. <laughs> Republican senator from Wisconsin, and uh, she yelled back at him. I like this moment too. We no. were misled that there was supposedly protests, and then something sprang out of that, an assault sprang out of that. With all due respect. The fact is, we had four dead Americans. Was it because of a protest, or was it because of guys out for a walk one night who decided they'd go kill some Americans? What difference at this point does it make? It is our job to figure out what happened and do everything we can to prevent it from ever happening again, Senator. I bet Chelsea Clinton kept her room spotless. (laughs) (laughs) Because that's a scary broad right right there. You're going to have a lot of debate as to whether it did matter, because Mm -hmm. they're going to say maybe it was the wrong choice of words. But what comes across during this exchange is the emotion and the toughness of the woman. Yes. And what this woman has done, and in my great, humble opinion. Great hair, do. <laughs> great. She always has <laughs> her hair. I think, you know, you're looking at somebody who, if you're worried about, you know, a woman being tough enough for the job. Oh, yeah. We'll see what happens in, uh, you know, 2016. Just a quick anecdote. Yes. Uh, the president had this big part, this private party at uh, the White House. Lady Gaga was there. Yeah. Bottle at, service. It was a big deal. And it was noted in the news that Bill Clinton was at that party until 2 a.m. <laughs> oh, now, was this? Now, he had a private party. There were two parties. After the inaugural. Okay, so it was the late night one right. after the inaugural. Yes, That's the one Bill was he invited at. all his friends right. to the White House. And they went to like 2 o'clock in yes. the morning. <laughs> so Hillary Clinton... Let's like, go to Charlestown. Left left, she left early? Left early because she had to go to she, she got to go on the hill the next she year. She has right. a job. Right. Yeah, she has a job. <laughs> uh, Slick Willie he hung out? stuck around till 2 a.m. Atta boy, Bill. That's great. Yeah, you go to bed. I'll see them out. <laughs> yeah, you take care. Listen, I know. I know you've got a big day. <laughs> I know you have a <laughs> you have a big day tomorrow. I where Bear. did you get that? I I didn't see that oh, anywhere. Yeah, it was awesome. You know this yeah. is on the heels of the picture uh, with Kelly Clarkson on looking the podium where he's like looking at her butt. Love it. Oh my God, that's funny that he hung yes. out. Yes. And then last night for the staffers, uh, they had Lady Gaga perform a separate party at a separate party. But the so. fact that he s- he stayed at that party till two a.m. <laughs> let his wife, the Secretary of State, who's 
you know, he's got a pass with, clearly. Yeah. Yeah. Really, the toughest day of her tenure yes. as Secretary yeah. of State yeah. is coming you up. You take care of you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm going to hang out here. B- Bill go. Clinton believes in Rennie Rude. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Bill Clinton might be Rennie Rude. Uh, and from our unintentionally funny file of the week, Mike, have you ever wondered the way the, Neanderth- the Neanderthal man would talk? Uh, no. He sounds apparently a lot like when Monty Python did women. Mm-hmm. I go now to a British documentary with a, an expert who actually looked at a preserved Neanderthal man and found the voice box to be much smaller mm-hmm. and more squat than the modern voice box. Really? And she actually takes a guy and walks him through the way a Neanderthal would talk. I think you'll like this. Let's try male human voice, count over three. One, two, three. Just pitch up your voice one two three now we might have an idea that a a macho sound is low but that might be very useful but it gets even more complex let's just add a bit of nasal now one two three (laughs) now the other thing that would which would actually increase that quality is a very heavy skull that seems to pull down into the throat yes Now, add to that the fact that they had a fantastic chest, which is a support system of breath, which can produce enormous chest resonance and tremendous power. So So I imagine that they wouldn't have subtle sounds. It would be loud, very loud, or very, very loud. And we can try and get that by... I'm now going to engage Elliot by push into me. This is actually getting him right into his body. Now, speak. One, two, three! That's how the Neanderthal <laughs> talk, right? How great is that? Oh. Intercourse the penguin! That's right! Oh, the penguin blew up! Oh. <laughs> now, I know you like Prince, right? Yes. You remember this song, of course. Uh, and it's on my list of uh, performances I'd like to see live. Yes, I'd like to go see Prince one day. I don't know if you'd like this cover. Now, what's your opinion of Maroon 5? I uh, like Adam Levine. I think he's a talented uh, guy. Like weird him. eyes. He got weird he's eyes. He's one of mine, right? Oh, I know he is. This is a tight little band. Yeah. I like that band. But I don't know if you'd like this cover of Kiss. No, it's like a lounge act. Yeah, I mean, you made it, you put it into a like a bluesy swing beat. That's no yeah. good. That's Adam Levine doing it. Yep, Maroon Five. I like the Tom Jones version of it. Yeah, funny you should mention that, Mike. Tom Jones. You don't have to be I love See, this. I think it's almost better than the Prince. That's how you do it's it. It's certainly a different record. But it's take so it to a Tom level. Jones. It just cracked me up. It was kind of a novelty record when it came out. Yep. And, uh, you know, it just works. It was long enough ago. It might have been like 87 that MTV was still showing videos. Right. And I remember my mom walked in and saw it. And she says, you're kidding, right? <laughs> <laughs> and she didn't even mention the fact. She said, that's Tom Jones doing kiss. She just said, you're kidding. Do you right? remember <laughs> our first uh, our first trip, I think, you and I going to Reno? I know, yeah. And our amazing disappointment. Yes. Rob and I got to the hotel we were staying at, and we see Tom Jones on the marquee. Sure. And we're like, oh, man, this is going to be great. And it was sold it out. It was sold mm-hmm. out. It was mm-hmm. such a drag. And we tried so hard. We tried oh. to get in. with nothing we could do. Have you ever wondered what it would sound like if a plane flew by you at 200 miles an hour from yeah. about two uh, feet away? I saw this video earlier today. This is pretty amazing. This video. is on our YouTube page. Check this out. And it's not a jet. It's a biplane, really. Which yes, means it like goes, a crop duster. It goes both ways. both ways. Right. Yeah. Uh, there's a stunt pilot flying by the camera about two feet away at 200 miles an hour. <laughs> Jesus. Oh guys in big trouble, too. Oh, oh, yeah. he? oh, the guy's in huge trouble. You, you, you're not allowed to fly that low. Yeah, I think he's fine. <laughs> he didn't have a license to be uh, performing stunts, and you know they're talking about how you know that that uh, you know quarter of an inch closer to the ground would have killed him and the people that were photographed. You know who was flying the plane was Ray Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you get the sense of the power. And before we put the whole Beyonce thing to bed, have you heard the CNN capture of her singing the anthem? No. There are actually listen carefully here. There are two voices here. So whatever we heard may or may not have been her live. Stay with us. There are times we can definitely hear a pre-record and a real voice. What so proudly we Oh, there we go. Yep. That's why she took out the earphone. I think you're right. So like Rob said... She, she was sang. Singing. She was singing. And whether or not what we heard. now, But the thing is, is just, and I'll be brief, Buzz, because I know. Why did she come out and s- explain it? See, I know. this is what she should have done. But if you go to ABC's audio, 
I think what happened is ABC had a better audio engineer than CNN. CNN captured it wrong. Mm-hmm. But what we need to know is what was intended and what actually uh, can happened. I, right. Can I just say this? Yes. And I know there are people that are, that are going to disagree with me. Mm-hmm. Why, why does anybody? Why is everybody still upset about this? Because we love to disagree with you. Yeah, <laughs> we do. And I close I'm now, uh, Mike. And you. we will be addressing this, I believe, later uh, on. Incidentally, and I, you know, all the gas that I, you know, I, I'm, I'm out of petrol on that one. Right? <laughs> yeah. You're not going to get me a, you know, my, my, my mojo's all given up between guns yesterday and screaming. Oh, and incidentally, a little note to people. Uh, you know, I was really surprised. Uh, got some love yesterday mm-hmm. uh, online, and thank you for doing that. Uh, you know, I was, I was, I was girding my loins yes. for the big battle, but uh, usually. Usually the uh, the gun haters that are that, that hate me for saying things about guns usually are about three days behind. So I know that's uh, that's fun yet to come in Still those coming, personal yeah. messages. Um, I know we're running a little late. Just real quick, and we'll address this in a later show this week. Conan O'Brien talks about here. Arnold has signed on to do another Terminator film. I can't believe this. Arnold Schwarzenegger's in the news. Arnold Schwarzenegger has signed on to a brand new Terminator film. He's going to make another one. Now, due to his age, this one features the catchphrase, I'll be back right after Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, uh, that is your audio ball. Thank you very much, Mike. Thank you, Rob. We'll take a break. Come back with Buzz and News. This is the Mike O'Mara Show. You don't know what for. You turn heads when you walk through the door. Don't need me. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show, everybody. It's time for news, and now the number one supporter of the Rennie Rude fan club. That's right. <laughs> I give you Mr. Buzz Burbank. Take it away, I'm, Buzz. I'm banking on it. Thank mm-hmm. you, Mike. We're brought to you today by the Amazon page at MikeOmeraShow.com. If it is a new you in the new year, shop our Amazon page for fitness and exercise gear or the right tools for eating right. You'll also find everything you need to get ready for the big game. As always, you can save money and support the show by clicking the Amazon button at MikeOmeraShow.com. Bookmark it. It takes you right to your account. And please share the link with your friends and family, the MikeOmeraShow.com slash Amazon. We haven't mentioned this in a long time. All the music I play on this show is I buy it through Amazon, and we also put the links up. Mm -hmm. So if you hear a record you you like, go to our website. It'll take you right to it. You can buy it right there at Amazon. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we, we, <laughs> hey, I, you're a Neanderthal. Thank you. <laughs> I forgot early, but happy birthday to Jason Vesey. Hey, oh, yeah. Oh, happy birthday, yeah. friend. Good Very guy. Nice, yes. uh, Subway's 11-inch footlongs hey. have just become the target of a lawsuit. Two New Jersey Pepperoni. men. Two New Jersey men are suing the sandwich chain, trying to force it to either give us another inch or stop calling them footlongs. Earlier this week... The company made its PR nightmare worse by saying footlong is a name, not a measurement. Oh, God. There will likely be lost. <laughs> Who said I, that? Yeah, Subway. I, some clown. I Subway really want that. that guy fired. Oh, yeah. he's got a future in government. I want he? that guy hey, fired. do me a favor. Will you do your Subway order in Spanish like you do? Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, I love this. Oh, boy. It's been a long time yeah. Yeah. since I've been over sal- that one. Right. Uh, lechuga, yeah, yeah. sal y pimienta, <laughs> uh, tomate, <laughs> uh, y... Uh, Pollo. He, he, uh, pollo. <laughs> and then they always say the same thing. Mio dia. Mio dia. Well, that's, that's, that's a different, a different nationality. Language. Well, I thought Probably. you spoke Spanish to that, the Asians. That's just, that was... just slightly uh, different nationalities. Uh, hey, welcome to Subway. Welcome to Subway in Fairfax. How you doing? Here's yes. my impression of the Subway in Fairfax, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Not to be confused with the Subway in Manassas. Yes. Oh, I love that Subway. <laughs> There you go. Now, <laughs> no, actually, now, the subway, no, 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 one, no. no. Okay. Oh, oh so which one do you go to? Depends on it. T- it depends right. on. But uh, you know, all right. Let me, t- let me break it down. Me. All right, Subway <laughs> in Subway. The one across Manassas Mall is Asian. That's the one okay. I go to. Subway. All right, and that you, one rules. You've got the one across from Manassas Mall. That one that's, rules. That's the one. Okay. Then you've got the one in Old Town uh-huh. Manassas. All right. You've got that one, and then you have the one that, Is that, uh, the one that was over- in Rockville that I used to go to. <laughs> that one. Uh-huh. Right, that was there. And then you've got the one, if you go down 28, there's one right before you get to the Kia dealership. Right. right. That's the one that's uh, like this. Oh. That, that one. <laughs> that's yeah. the one on Route 28. <laughs> See, that's the one that's right next to the Tombstone dealership. <laughs> yeah, and then the reason is uh, that one might be, uh, you know, I like to call that one the... Uh, the convicted felon subway. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the women's prison subway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So there's the the uh, subway lawsuit. There may be lawsuits also over the new bans on oversized sodas. And New York City's defending its ban on the sale of sugary soft drinks bigger than 16 ounces, a legal way, it says, to fight obesity. There's nothing better than seeing your sandwich made by a woman who has a lovely tattoo between her thumb and forefinger. You know what the weird thing as about that? As it's gloved. The <laughs> weird thing about that subway, I said, how much for a 12-inch BMT? They said three packs of smokes. <laughs> <laughs> Bada boom. The ban on big sodas in New York goes into effect in March. Other cities and states have kicked off similar efforts, but the soft drink industry and freedom and sugar-loving Americans are fighting back and threatening legal challenges. I'm so pleased my giant now has uh, Mexican Sprite. Oh, with the real sugar? And the glass bottle. It's fantastic. Here's the thing about this uh, ban on so I Mm -hmm. I look forward to the protests in New York. Yes. Because you know people are going to play with this. Large people. There are going to be, not necessarily large people, they're going to... Probably be uh, stores that sell the big buckets, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Right. Like movie theater. What I do, I'd like to see the large movie theater popcorn, but make it fluid. Make it soda. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'd like to see. 256 ounces That'd be funny. of That's squirt. Not legal. Uh, as for the assault weapons ban being proposed in Congress, there's been a last-minute change that would also include rapid-fire handguns and shotguns, according to a conservative newspaper here in Washington. Uh, that may make the assault rifle ban even harder to pass because a recent Supreme Court ruling said the government cannot ban what it calls commonly used weapons. I just wanted to say one thing about my rant yesterday. I lost one and I gained about five. And uh, one of the things that uh, people were saying to me, there is a lot of anger uh, in people that are on the other side of this gun issue. So mm-hmm. I think the one thing I wanted to sum up was uh, my rant and my screaming and yelling about that issue yesterday. There are a lot of people just still as pissed off as I am about the whole thing. Sure. Right. Might not necessarily be rational, but it was from the heart. And I was kind Understood. of, uh, you know, thinking about the, those those children of and course. thinking about uh, mm-hmm. there's just this passion that you get from the, the gun lobby and the people that love their guns, that kind of pisses people like me off. So that's what that was about. NRA President uh, Wayne LaPierre, speaking in Reno, accuses the president of making a mockery of constitutional freedoms in his inaugural address. His name by, means the Pierre. By the talking Pierre. about okay. curbing gun violence. Quoting LaPierre, there are only two reasons for that federal list of gun owners, to tax them or to take them. He went on to say, we believe in our right to defend ourselves and our families with semi-automatic technology. Hmm. Speaking of technology, a, pu- a pushback against some of it has made for some very strange bedfellows here in Virginia. This unlikely group includes the ACLU, the Tea Party, and the Farm Bureau. They are fighting together. Now, Mike, you're a member of two of those. <laughs> all of them, right? Oh, all of them. Okay. Yeah, I joined the Farm Bureau about a year ago. ACLU, Good Tea job. Party, and Farm Bureau have joined forces to fight plans by local police departments to start using military drone technology for surveillance without a warrant. Mm-hmm. Some Virginia lawmakers are proposing that a warrant be required, and the courts may back them on this. Yeah. In Florida... Farm some- Bureau gives you a tattoo. Uh, you want to hear the, the tape from my induction ceremony? I go. Here it is. <laughs> Oh, that's horrible. Sorry. How's the tractor running? Pretty good. That's good. In Florida, <laughs> uh, some cops are in trouble for using the state's driver information database to look up celebrities. <laughs> Mike, hey, Mike. Hey, I want to know where, where does Michael Douglas live? How you doing? And, and also looking up people with whom they'd like to hook up. Mm-hmm. Uh, after an attractive officer got publicity from a high-speed chase, 88 male officers around the state checked on her personal information using this database. Well, you can't really blame them for that. <laughs> no. Yeah. I uh, would if I was a cop, if, I, if uh, there was a hottie in the news. Yeah, I'm sure. Is what's that your so wrong? What's, what's your next shift? Officer Rude, you have 15 <laughs> voicemail <laughs> messages. <laughs> yeah, stay on that, Mark. I like daily updates I on will that definitely one. do that. Hourly, please. Uh, on time, high school graduations are up in this country to their highest level in nearly 40 years. And a lot of that is due to a higher graduation rate for Hispanic students. The national graduation rate is now 78% which is a C plus. 78% or something. But yeah. <laughs> but more Americans are also getting college degrees. That number's up by 45% in the last 10 years. A million more people now have doctorates, 5 million more with master's degrees. The number of people without a high school diploma or GED down by 13%. This is good. Dr. Ronick. Uh, in a nod to animal rights, the feds say they will mostly stop their invasive experiments on chimpanzees, sending all but 50 of the chimps to a retirement sanctuary in Louisiana. And finally, thank you, Florida. 
We get stories from the home office all the time about violent guys, guys who get naked or pleasure themselves in public or <laughs> release their bowels in public. But today, Mike. Hi, sorry. Today we have what the home office likes to call an all-in-one plus. Hey! Uh, Gregory Matthew Bruni accused of breaking into a Fort Myers home <laughs> by way of the roof. <laughs> oh, no. He ripped a big TV off the wall, dumped the contents of a vacuum cleaner on the floor, defecated on the floor twice. Oh. When confronted by the homeowner, began pleasuring himself. Oh. Police think he may have been on something. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So so there's your violence, nudity, self-touching, and defecating. Now, here's the plus. The guy's also a carnival worker. Yeah! Hey! I'm Buzz Burbank on the Mike O'Mara Show. Thank you, Buzz. Our show is brought to you by the fourth annual TMOS Big Game Party at Jimmy's Old Town Tavern. This is near and dear to our hearts. This is the first place we went to, ladies and gentlemen, when we started this show. It's our first public appearance mm-hmm. we did three years ago, yep. and now we're glad to be doing our fourth annual. Like we're home. excited about that. Come out to Jimmy's on Super Bowl Sunday. I'm going to be there all day. The guys all get there at 4 o'clock, and we'll watch the game with you. Analyze the commercials. We'll have giveaways. Lots of fun. There's a charity football pool and fun for non-football fans as Rob and I play Old Queen Trivia That's right. during halftime. Bullwinkle says, Big Brains should reserve their <laughs> tables now. Call Call 703-435-JIMS. That's 703-435-5467. Or write Jimmy at jimmystavern.com. That's it. we got to get out of here. See you along. Bye-bye. Thank you.